Nowadays, there are a lot of change and upgrades have been made to the world of technologies in various aspects such as employment, education, health, entertainment, and others. Hence, we believe our product will also do the same justification. Our product entitled Semi-Auto Seat Lifter is an upgraded version of the wheelchair. Our product is targeted mainly to the fellow elder or wheelchair users who are undergoing difficulties to transfer themselves from the wheelchair to the car seat. In order in order to achieve our concern, we did a survey on the problem faced by the wheelchair users, especially during traveling, and it came to our limelight. The most of them are facing difficulties to transfer themselves from a wheelchair to the car seat, and these are the main reasons that made us to come to an innovation talk of the designing our product. The objective of our project are to develop semi-auto seat lifter for transferring wheelchair users from wheelchair to the car seat using product design and manufacturing approach. Second is to analyze the effectiveness of the semi-auto seat lifter through survey and product design analysis testing. And the last one is to investigate the provision of the semi-auto seat lifter which aids in the elevation of the seat of the wheelchair users. Our product is called Semi Auto Seat Lifter. is made from 14 parts including hydraulic jet. We will look each part from the bottom until the top part of the product. From the bottom, we have hydraulic jack and its base. The hydraulic jack will be mounted with the base plate and the bracket base. In order to make sure that hydraulic is in fixed and static position, we have designed hydraulic lock 1 and 2 to fix this issue. After that, above the bracket base will be mounted with the base supporter layer. Above the base supporter layer, we have T bar layer and then the upper layer mounted with the essential rail and the finally the top part which is the cushion where it will be mounted on the essential rail. So, I will explain about the theory to mount on a wheelchair. Basically, the semi auto silvitor will be placed on the wheelchair where the wheelchair seat need to be removed first before placing it. As you can see, in the base layer of our product has two side vertical plates where these plates are used to fix our product on the wheelchair. So how our product are going to lift? So first and foremost, we just have to set up hydraulic jack by twisting its lifting key until T layer reach suitable height with the car seat. When the T layer has reached same height with the car seat, we can straight away pull the T bar out to put on the car seat. The function of the T bar is to hold the wheelchair from falling aside when transferring person from wheelchair to car seat. Now the person who sit on the cushion can be rolled slowly forward as it uses extension rail to Move. The person who sit on the cushion can be transferred slowly until it reaches the car seat. However, there are still few precautions need to be aware of, which is when transfer a person, make sure that the wheelchair is held by one person, as we are afraid that wheelchair user might not stable due to inertia. For engineering analysis, we have conducted experiment on T-bar supporter. T-bar supporter has the range of weight of 150kg maximum which will be absorbed by the mini hydraulic jack for 2 tons. According to the test engineering analysis in SOLIDWORKS software, the sensitivity is high enough to lapse within 3 days or less for heavy user. Thickness of the supporter T-bar is 6mm which is strong enough to withstand the conditions. From the engineering analysis of static displacement, it is shown that at the edge of the T-bar is very severe, which may lead that part to croak for daily users. In order to overcome this problem, the edge part must be placed on the car seat. This idea is to make sure to reduce the possibility for the metal atoms deform. For the second part is base layer. We have conducted engineering analysis for static displacement and static nodules stress on the basement. The middle of the plate is the sensitive section which will collapse by time while the rest segments show the less sensitivity after the force being applied onto the basement. Static node stress is the highest center. This is because there is contact stress between the area and mini hydraulic jack. There are totally 5 processes will be used for producing our product which are bandsaw cutting, laser cutting, lead machine process, MIG welding, drilling process and assembly. After knowing the process, let me explain about the procedure by using an obvious flow chart. First step, firstly the materials are needed to cut into piece and desired size by selecting the suitable cutting machine according to their original shape. For our materials, 
they are mined steel, plate and aluminum bar. Mine steel plate will go through the laser cutting machines. Laser cutting is an advanced manufacture process. So this process can direct cut the plate into the shirt by insert the soft copy and coat of our design in CAD CAM. But it can only cut thin plate. For aluminum brow bar, Benzo cutting machine is the most suitable process for cutting it into pieces. Second step, for making the lock. The round bar is needed to go through the lead machine process. The material will be cut by forcing carbide or drill to the rotating bar. Third step, for making the base level, the welding we use our MIG welding. This process to join the cis plate and form a base level. Fourth step, for making the holes of bolt and nut in each part, we are using drilling machine to drill the small holes on the base level lock and the supporter level. These holes are useful for the next assembly process. Fifth step is the last step, that is assembly. The whole product is just needed assembly by screwing the all part together. I purchased a mini hydraulic jet from lazada.com that can carry load up to 2 tons which costed about 26 ringgit and 30 cents but shipping cost of 4 ringgit and 80 cents that net paid is 31 ringgit and 10 cents We also have purchased raw materials for body part from FKP Lab Management Encik Ghazalan and Encik Remy who manage these processes From the raw material application form the prices are made according to the desired thickness and sizes The total net price for raw materials of aluminum Minimum and mild steel are 91 ringgit and 50 cents. As for connector of part, the estimation survey price from Lazada.com for stainless steel screw without shipping cost is between 12 ringgit to 30 ringgit per box, which contains 50 pieces. As for extra item, which is a cushion for comfort, we have recycled cushion that is still in great condition as new. Plus, the real extension price is 80 ringgit respectively from the service store in Melaka. To sum up, the estimation budget uses for production is between 240 ringgit and 60 cents to 232 ringgit and 60 cents respectively. When we hear the word sustainability, we tend to think of renewable fuel sources, reducing carbon emissions, protecting environment, and a way of keeping the delicate ecosystems of our planet in balance. In short, sustainability looks to protect our natural environment, health, and ecological health while driving innovation and not compromising our way of life. In conjunction with that, sustainable product design is about you doing the right thing for the planet. It includes picking the materials that suit your design, that support our carbon footprint target, that are not harmful during use and that can be used again. Prior to that, our group has chosen the suitable materials using material selection strategy for our product called Semi-Auto Seat Lifter. The materials that we use to make our product are mild steel plate, aluminium bar and wood. Based on this slide, it is crystal clear that all the materials we use to make our product are safe and environmentally friendly. Now let's go one by one. As for mild steel plate, it is cost effective, ductile and recyclable. Mild steel plate is one of the most strongest material with low cost. Hence, it will definitely suit to make our product because our product's main concern is to withstand high weight. Besides that, it is easy to shape and can be recycled indefinitely without losing its quality. Next is aluminium. Aluminium is lightweight corrosion resistance, high strength at low temperature, and recyclable. In this case, let me point out the most important point, which is corrosion resistance. Since aluminium naturally generates a thin oxide coating, which keeps the metal from making further contact with the environment, hence it will be more sustainable. Last but not least, wood, which is a natural material. Wood, when exposed to the natural climate conditions, it will break down much more quickly and actually replenish the soil in the process. This can relatively reduce the number of pollutions since wood can be recycled and decomposed easily. In a nutshell, sustainable future will lead to a pollution-free world and we believe our product will justify the statement as it is.